Shalom covering mine, Stephen Benu. You're watching Israeli News Live. We are in Paris, France, of course, here at the Republic Center, where they have the memorial for the Paris attacks that happened uh, some weeks uh, ago. And we know that there's been a lot of conspiracy theories out there of why this actually took place. Uh, we were earlier at uh, uh, Rue de uh, Sharon where the outdoor cafe was, where there were actually people murdered at that location. Uh, in a tree right next to the cafe there, you can see where a bullet clearly had grazed the edge of the tree, an entrance of the, of the tree of the bullet, the exit blowing out much bigger, very much like a large caliber rifle would do, like an AK-47, something of this nature there. Uh, but the thing is, as we have reported before, one of the things that we believe that this is, was done for originally, especially in light of the different conspiracy theories that are out there, is that perhaps this ta attack was pre-planned of some sort, something that they wanted to do in order to help bring the United Nations into the Syrian conflict, to build momentum, public opinion, that would get the public behind the, the uh, troops on the ground, so to speak, in Syria. You have to keep in mind, Russia is there doing a bombing campaign on ISIS. To bring in NATO into the action as well is a very risky thing indeed. And now there's even talks that the Turkish troops are also entering into Syria even at this moment. This is only raising the tensions for Russia because Russia is bound to protect Bashar al-Assad, the president of Syria. And at this point now, all the NATO allies are clearly against Bashar al-Assad and they're wanting to put a stop to what the president is doing there as far as president of Russia, President Putin. So there's a huge fight in this region of the world and we cannot help but wonder if the attacks that happened here in Paris, a place where people from all over the world come to visit, people of all nations, something that would have the maximum damage, the maximum loss of life from different nations to help galvanize the people in solidarity to be willing to go in to Syria in the midst of where Russia is protecting President Bashar al-Assad. It's like this happening benefits the elites of the world. Look at this sign over there, right? So it's coexist with the start of David in the middle. People get sick and tired of the terror. And they want peace. They want all religions to coexist together and have peace. And this is exactly what the elites of the world want. This is why they want this chaos and killing to happen. So actual public will agree to this ecumenical movement and all religions loving each other and coexisting as one. This is what people here uh, are calling for. Coexistence and uh, acceptance of all the religions. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.